What is up, everybody? Welcome to this new video, TechPress. <clears throat> Let's take a look into how you can create a login page into Google Site. As you might know, Google Site is totally for free. So if you go into sites.google.com, you want to go directly into start a new site. And once you have your start your new site, whether you want to choose like a blank space or whatever. So in here, let's say for example, that I have here my actual website. And let's say that I have two pages. I have the home and here I have another one that says members like this. So now I have home and I have members. So now here into members, uh, let's say for example, that I want to create, I'm going to insert a text box that says, welcome to our community like that. And now I'm going to head down into the page where I wanted to people to enter the membership if they have an actual account. And for that, you need to look out for a login section, for example, the Authentication Pro. This one is an application that can be helping you to add members registration and login system. So this has page protection. So that means that if you don't have the page protection, if you actually have the page protection, nobody can enter into this website unless you have a membership into this actual website. So with that being said, I'm going to go here into the actual auth login. Let's go for sign up. And here's going to be asking you to want to set up wizard to configure your new account. So let's go into continue. And here you want to fill all your information, for example, your username, your passcode, a name and email, what is the website title and what is the website URL. After that, choose a uh, language and hit that one to create an account. It's really important, guys, that here you have to import the website URL that appears here into Google Sites. If you don't know how to access your free URL, you want to go into published and automatically it's going to be appearing how it's going to be looking your actual URL. So for example, let's say that I do have this new code. I paste it in here and here is to create my account. So it's really important to check it out. What is the actual wizard you wanted to add into your account? For example, I want members to register for free and access my members area when they verify their email address, or I want members to register for free and access my members area, for example. So that's totally dependent on you. Let's go into next and now registration edit profile form. This is an application that can be helping us to, let's say, sign up inside the Google sites. So let's say I wanted to import, I want these guys to import the name, the email, uh, the login code and passcode and password number two, like that. So if you think this one is actually great, now here you have your members area URL. So this one is going to be helping you to where your members will be sent if they enter correct login passcode. So that means that if I go here into, let's say for example, that I want to add my actual site. Remember that we have the home page and we have the member page. This is the authentication URL. I want people to enter in here only if they have the actual login code. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste that in here. Now members will be sent if they and if they enter incorrect login passcode. So we can leave it empty, but we show the default login from here. Now protected page authorization failed. This is totally optional. This is only for access protected page without logging in. So um, I'm going to hit into look out URL. Just leave it like that. And now let's go into I want to have my members area URL like this. Or if we can display my own website address for members area required for Google Sites, hit into next. And now, as you can see, add some members to your account. Let's say, for example, I'm going to get started with username. Let's go for admin. And the passcode, it's exactly the same. And the email, I'm going to type with something like this. Let's go C1RKO. Let's go for at live.com. I'm going to hit now into next. And lastly, we need to configure an account. The add login form, which is actually this one, we can add this link into our website to display the login form, or we can add the registration form that appears in here. So 
we needed to just to protect the members area. So in order to protect your page from authorized access, we needed to paste the code below to all the pages where we wanted to be registered for. So what I wanted to do is to copy this code and I'm going to go back and here I'm going to look out for embedded code and I'm going to paste it in here next and hit into insert. And now I'm going to input this in here. And as you can see, here's the member area. So in order to access, we need to input this actual code in order to continue. If you don't have this, of course, you cannot sign here. So I'm going to put that in here. There we go. And now I'm going to go into published. So now let's go for to proceed to the account manager. And as you can see, here's my actual dashboard. Since this is just a free version, I'm going to go to my Google sites and I want to make sure that this one actually is working. So this is my actual website so far. I'm going to now to reload my page. So enter your login and passcode. Let's go for my username. Let's go for the admin and the passcode is, was exactly the same. So let's go into enter and see if this one is actually working. And there we go. As you can see, I am now inside these actual section of the membership of the sites of the Google. So now I have the registration form. I'm going to copy this link and I wanted to open this into a new tab just to get started here. The registration code is in here. And just to make sure what I wanted to do is to go into the home section of my actual website and I'm going to open this into a new private window just to make sure that this one is no longer going to uh, help me to log in in here if I don't have an account. I'm going to go into my membership and as you can see, it says now protected with Authenticator Pro. So what is left to be done is just to add all the information you wanted to into your actual website. And if you go back into your Auth Pro, here's going to be tuned your account, how many people have just signed in, how many people are online and your recent activity. Here are the login forms that you can show the registration form, the edit profile form and the password reminder form and the cancellation form even. So this is how we can do this totally for free. So into Google Sites, of course. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more great toes of the Google Sites. Totally for free. Once again, thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully, I can see you next time.